Love is Blind, Season 4, Episode 6. Y'all, I thought it was about to be a what? Girl fight. We about to throw them bowls. Girl, I thought it was about to be a girl fight. I was like, I'm here for this. Did this just turn into Bad Girls Club? Because I'm with the shit, okay? <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's Jay Chanese back with another video, back with another review in my loud ass mouth. Okay, let's get into this because, baby, baby, my favorite part was Irina and Micah. Okay, Irina walked up into that meeting smiling like she ain't did nothing wrong, like she ain't said no f up shit. Okay, I'm like, how you consider this girl your friend and you turn around and tell her in Mexico that you want her man, that you're attracted to her man and you broke up with Zach, basically for her man? Are you serious? I was like, you sure is smiling for a heifer that's about to get her face checked off, okay? Oh, she gets on my nerves. That's how you know she's so fake and shady. I'm like, I can't stand you, okay? Micah gathered her. Did Micah not gather her? Did Micah not get her together, y'all? I said, Micah, check that hoe. Whoop that hoe. I was here for Micah, like, my man don't want you. Paul was like, yeah, I did think it was weird that she was, like, touching on me in the pool, flirting with me, but I'm secure in our relationship, and he also respects Zach. So, I'm just like, girl, so you was making a move on a man that wasn't even checking for you, which we already knew that, okay? She straight up told her, my man don't like you, and don't forget who had your back in them pods, because them other girls was not messing with you. I was laughing with you being your friend. Did you forget who was your friend in there, and you got the nerve to tell me you want my man? I said, she did. What you gonna do about it, Micah? What you gonna do about it, okay? Because you need to gather her. You need to get her together and let her know, don't you ever cross me again. And I think Micah let her know, don't you cross me again. Don't do it. Paul don't want you. Even if you think he does and you might want to have a conversation, let that be the last conversation you have with my man. Like she told Paul, she don't need to talk to you again. I will talk to her. I said, Micah, okay, I see you putting on your big girl panties and letting this hoe No, I said, okay, Micah, I'm liking you a little bit. You know, I like me a, a messy bitch, okay? I said, is it about to be Bad Girls Club? Then, um... Did Love is Blind just turn into Bad Girls Club? Because I used to love Beats of Bad Girls Club. Okay. Anyways, she let her know. But I just hate how Irina was like, are y'all making wedding plans? Did you meet his family yet? Hold on. That's none of your business. Why are you asking me like this? Like we are friends. What? Are you serious? That shows you how crazy Irina really is. Like, you, you really don't got it all. You really think you that girl. But you're not. You're not. Paul likes who he's with, honey. And Micah's not going to play. And I don't like that she made Micah feel un insecure about her and Paul. Because you're going to say you like Paul. Girl, how do you like somebody you didn't barely talk to in the pods? Which, Micah confirmed that. Because I was thinking, did she even really talk to him in the pods? Like, how do you like somebody you barely talk to in the pods? Girl, bye. I can't even, okay? And Micah thinks their whole friendship it was fake. And it was. It was. It was fake. She's not really your friend. Micah, move on to the next, okay? Girl, just move on. And the other thing about Micah, okay, Paul said it seems like she needs, like, I guess a lot of validation. And Zach did give him good advice. Like, show her every day that you love her. There's never enough. I said, okay, Zach, giving good, good, um, what's it called? See, my mind skipped. Information? Nope. Advice. <laughs> I said information advice. It's all the same, right? Zach was giving him good advice about that. And I do really like Paul. Paul is so handsome to me. My homegirl Carrie said he ain't. But I said, girl, you just stay out of my business. Let me like Paul. You like whoever you like, okay? Just as long as it ain't goddamn Alex. Anyways, I think they're going to be okay. We're going to see how it goes. But this, so far, Micah got Irina together. But I don't think this is the last of Irina because Irina was saying something like, if if I do decide to go back to Zach, it might be too late. But if I do, then I will. And I'm like, girl, so you just think you can just go back after you treated him like that? I would hope that Zach would not let you come back because he don't deserve that. And neither do you at this point. You think the boy is ugly. You think he's this and that. Leave him alone. Okay. What else? I think that's really it with Micah and Paul 
and Irina. Zach did meet up with Bliss. I don't know how Bliss feels. I'm still sitting there. Bliss said his eye contact wasn't too much and all that. I'm like, quit bringing up Irina in this conversation. This is about you and Bliss. But I think Bliss still got to think about it. She didn't really give him no answer. She was kind of looking like... Mm. and that's what happened yeah she forgot my birthday bliss i already knew that and i like the cupcakes you made oh did you really see they don't miss nothing until it's gone they don't miss nothing until it's gone bliss was just sitting there like yeah okay thank you for this free meal hmm i'm gonna go home and think about it he's like hopefully we can do it again she's like hmm maybe if you're lucky enough i said no that's right bliss make him wait even if you're gonna give him another chance make him sweat and Zach said he's ready for a family. He's ready for kids. And we're going to see what happens with him and Bliss. Maybe nothing happens. Maybe something happens, okay? But like I said, whatever Bliss decides, I'm with it. If it's a yes, okay. If it's a no, then hey, girl, do your thing, okay? Let's get on to Brett and Tiffany. They are so cute. I can't even take it, okay? Her friends loved him. And I said, I love him too, girl. I love him too. He blinked a little hard, but that's okay. Cause he was like, I was like, are you okay? Is your eyes dry? You need some eye drops? Don't use them ones though. Cause them ones is bad. They was blinding people. But do you need some eye drops? Anyways, her friends liked him. Her friend was like, don't, don't break her heart. Cause listen, <laughs> okay. I said, I know that's right. And they said she is sleeping beauty. She falls asleep on them too on the phone and stuff like that. They call her sleeping beauty. She has wonderful friends. They are too cute. She was like, I need a TV in the room. I said, I know that's right, girl. He was like, uh-uh, baby. You need, if you ain't sleeping, you need to be concentrating on this. I said, baby, baby, I will ride that horse backwards, forwards, upside down. <laughs> Jesus. Let me not talk about somebody man like that, my baby. Lord, where is my Russell Wilson? A Brett, anybody, okay? Who child. Anyways, they is too cute. I like them. I am rooting for them. This is like the only couple that I'm literally rooting for, okay? Because I just think they're going to make it. They are so cute together. Tiffany is really a beautiful woman, which I think I said that before, but she is really beautiful. He is really handsome. And he got all that body. Could you imagine? He takes off his shirt and you just be like... Thank you, gods. Thank you to the 300 gods. You know, the only reason I like the movie 300 is because all they bodies was amazing. Who, Brad? Thank God for your body and you go to the gym. Him and Tiffany is just too cute. Her friends like him. We got to meet his friends. I'm just excited about this couple. I know it's not going to be perfect and sunshines and rainbows, but right now, God damn it, it's sunshines and rainbows and she sprung. I'm sprung. Mm, you got me, got me doing things I never do. Oh, man, T-Pain was the, when he first came out. What, Baby, I'm in love with a stripper. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyways, they cute, they cute. Jackie and Marshall. Listen, when Marshall put that powdered sugar over the pancakes, I said, you got me, you got me. What I mean, what else do you need? Oh, my goodness, he is just sweet, ain't he? He is just sweet, but I feel like Jackie might mess this up because she ain't used to nobody so sweet, so nice, so kind, so good to her. He's good to her. He's good for her. I just hope that she can take that love in and know that he's good for her, but I don't know. I don't know. He was cooking, made some jam or whatever he did. Y'all, listen, sausage, some potatoes. I said, baby, I need to be at that breakfast. I need to be at that breakfast. He is too cute and sweet. But she was saying something like about her family. Because he said he told his family already. And they're all happy because he's happy. But she hasn't told her family. She hasn't told her mom and dad yet. So we don't have to see. Because she said her mom is kind of like her. And then her dad is opposite. So maybe her dad would like him. But her mom wouldn't. I might have got that confused. But she has not told her family yet. So hopefully we'll get into that in the next couple of episodes because I have not watched the other episodes. I'm just doing episode by episode, y'all. So we will see how that goes. But I'm, I'm kind of a fan. I know because some of us girls, let's just admit it. Even guys, we done been with some bullshit. So when somebody is really nice and sweet to us, we're like, what's wrong with me? 
What's wrong with you? Why are you being so nice? Instead of taking in the love and knowing that we deserve it. And Jackie needs to know you deserve it besides an F boy. Because that's probably what she's been with more than anything is them F boys. They want to play. They want you, her, 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 and her. You know? And they have somebody like Marshall that is a good man. He's easy on the eyes. It, it could be a lot to take in if she's just never been with a man that really cares and provides for her. She said she ain't never had a man fix her a plate. I said, honey. Yeah. So we just going to keep our sister Jackie lifted up in prayer that she will take this love. But some of us have been there. We get some good guys or good girls and we're like, we've been with so many effed up people. We don't know what a good thing is when it come our way. Right? So we'll see. Now on to the next Chelsea and Alex. Cause you know, I seen that song where it said, welcome Chelsea in. And I said, y'all got his name wrong. Netflix, respect him. Respect him he wants to be called Alex so that's what we're gonna call him Just, I don't even know why they put that name on the screen put Chelsea and Alex with that white ring on his finger Chop. you know what I'm not even gonna go there I'm not even gonna uh -uh. I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna do it they was already bickering her daddy Charlie is on the way to the apartment he was giving her a lecture she was like don't be lecturing me and he's like you lecture me too and I was like who child, I don't know if you should introduce him to your daddy because this already is not working for me at all, okay? And also, I got a question. Has Chelsea ever dated a black man? I, what y'all think? Put yes or no down in the comments because I just wonder. I'm like, have you ever, because they both seem nervous. They seem tense. He's like, I, it's me. I got to make a good impression on your family. I'm like, see, because you want their acceptance. You want their acceptance. Just be you. That's how people fall in love with you. Just be you. Don't try to be what you think they want. Just be you. And she did go show her apartment. It's really cute. It's pink. She said the reason she decorated it like that is because her ex would not let her have no de decoration control, okay? He didn't let her have no pink Keurig or nothing, okay? So now she got a pink everything plus a little dog. She is living her best Barbie life, okay? And she's just in love with this man. I said, girl, that's what happens when you get some good, okay? Because that's that's just what happens. You get what I'm saying? So we're going to have to see how this goes. Because, you know, I'm already on the fence about him. I like Chelsea, but you know, I just do not care for him at all. I'm just looking at him like I'm watching every move you do. I'm worse than... I don't even know the police. I'm watching every move you do. As soon as you step out of line, I see it. I see it. I seize it. I seize it. Okay. Anyways, what was I thinking about? Okay. So I did see on his Instagram, somebody called him the N word with the ER and he made a post about it. Like, don't be doing that. La, 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 la. Well, to tell y'all the truth. I mean, it's uh, nobody should be calling him that and using the ER at the end, especially, okay? But I was like, how convenient. Now you want to be black? Sir, I could give two bucks less, okay? D did they know that you're white? Did they know you're their brother? Did they know that you're, part you're one of them? And I'm just sorry. You want to be black when it's convenient. So you want us all to jump on your bandwagon, have your back. Yes, it's wrong. They shouldn't call you that. But this is goddamn the real world. This is America, sir. You know how it goes, and it goes like that in other countries, too. Don't act like you don't see it. And don't have like think we're going to jump on your bandwagon when you literally said you don't want to be called by your first name. You want to be called Alex. I don't care. When you start self-loving yourself, then we'll have your goddamn back. Until then, deal with it. Block their asses, okay? Period. Micah did apologize. She said she learned from her lessons. She is trying to get herself together. She turned off her comments and all that. So we got some progress going on. Anyways, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye, y'all.